Hello grade 8 students and welcome to a new English lesson. Our lesson today is module 8C Read Plus Vocabulary Part 1. Student book page 102 and 103 and workbook page 112. So kindly bring your books and let's start our lesson. Let's have a look at today's objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to Talk about a travel experience. Form opposites of words using the prefixes im, an, and this. Let's have a look at our starter today. In today's starter, we want to brainstorm as many words as we can related to the word airport. You have two minutes to think of the words and you can write them in your notebook. You can start now. Welcome back, my dear students. Let's have a look at some of the words related to the word airport. The first word is the word passport. Also, we have the word flight, check in, ticket, gate, passenger, plane. Finally, we have the word baggage. In the next few slides, we are going to learn some vocabulary, which will help you to understand today's lesson. Let's start with the word in time. Look at the picture. It might help you to guess the meaning of the word. In time means early enough, not too late. Let's have a look at an example. We got to the airport just in time. The second word is the word pillow. It is a soft object on which you rest your head in bed. Let's have a look at an example. Ahmed lay back on the bed and rested his head on the pillow. Our next word is the word flight. A flight is a journey through air or space in a vehicle such as a plane. The flight to Egypt lasts more than three hours. Next, we have the word seat. It's a piece of furniture or part of a train, plane, etc. Uh, that has been designed for someone to sit on. The bus was so crowded that I couldn't find a seat. Miss. To arrive too late to get on a bus or a train or plane. I missed the, the start of the class because my bus was late. Next. Delay. The situation in which you have to wait longer than expected for something to happen or the time that you have to wait. Let's have a look at an example. Heavy rain de delayed the start of the game. Review. To consider something in order to make changes in it or give an opinion about it. The hotel has had a hundred reviews. Only two of them are negative. Booking An arrangement you make to have a hotel room, tickets, etc. at a particular time in the future. Holiday bookings are up to 20% this year. Finally, we have the word schedule and it means a list of planned activities or things to be done or during a particular time. 
The class schedule is available on the website. Now let's have a look at this exercise. Complete the sentences with words from the box. You have to complete the five sentences using the words here in the box. You have three minutes to do the activity and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answer. You can start now. Welcome back my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Let's have a look first at the words in the box. Review schedule, booking, miss, flight. Number one, your space hasn't been cancelled after all, I'm pleased to say. What's your answer? Great, your booking. Number two, that film didn't get a good review, so I didn't go to see it. Number three, my space is delayed because of bad weather. My flight. Great. Number four, you will space your flight if you don't hurry up. You will. You'll miss. Number five, we arrived at the train station almost an hour behind schedule. Excellent, my dear students. Now let's have one more exercise. Match the words with their definitions. We have four words here. Delay seat, pillow, and flight. And we have four definitions here. All you have to do is to try to read the definition and write the word in front of it. You have four minutes to do the activity and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answer. A soft object on which you rest your head in bed. What is it? Great. It's pillow. Number two, a piece of furniture or part of a train, plane, etc. that has been designed for someone to sit on. What is it? Great, it's a seat. A journey through air or space in a vehicle such as a plane. Flight. The last one, the situation in which you have to wait longer than expected for something to happen or the time that you have to wait it's the word delay great my dear students now please open your student book page 102 exercise number one read a you have four minutes to think of the answer to the questions in front of you we have two questions here have you ever traveled by plane have you ever had or heard of anyone else who had a particularly good or bad experience while traveling by plane? What happened? Try to think of the answer and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answer. Welcome back my dear students. Now let's have a look at some suggested answers. For the first question, have you ever traveled by plane? Some students will say, yes, I have. I traveled by plane last year for the first time. I, visit, I visited my cousins in Italy. At first, I was very anxious, but then I enjoyed it. Flying above the clouds was an amazing experience. So one of the students might say, no, I haven't. The second question. Have you ever had or heard of anyone else who had a particularly good or bad experience while traveling by plane? What happened? Yes, I have. A friend of mine arrived in the UK on holiday without her luggage and she got very upset. She informed the airline and the next day they brought her suitcase to the hotel where she was staying. Or simply you can say, no, I haven't. Now let's move to page 103 vocabulary, exercise number two. Let's read the instructions together in part A. Scan the first and the second dialogues to find the opposites of the following words. We have three words here, possible, 
comfortable and agree. All you have to do is to read the first and the second dialogues and find the opposites of these words. You have three minutes to read and write the opposites and you can start now. Now let's check your answers, my dear students. What is the opposite of possible? It is great, impossible. Let's move to the second word, comfortable. What is the opposite of comfortable? Great, uncomfortable. The last word, agree. What is the opposite of agree? Disagree. Great. Now let's have a look at the note here. The opposites of many English words are formed by adding a negative prefix an, this, or im, etc. to the words. So, if we look here at the words, the, po the word possible, what did we do? We added the prefix at the beginning of the word I am im, impossible. Number two, we added uncomfortable. And the last one, we added this, disagree. Great, my dear students. Now, let's move to part B. Read the note, form the opposites of the words in the box, and complete the table. Then check your answers in a dictionary. We have words here and we want to write the opposites of these words and write them in the table here. You have four minutes to do the activity and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back my dear students. Now let's check your answers and let's first read the words here. Satisfied and satisfied. The opposite of satisfied is dissatisfied. We add this the prefix this to it. Okay, we have three columns here. Un, this, im. The word satisfied, we will use the prefix this. Polite, organized, patient, like, pleasant, happy, helpful, appear, successful. Polite, what is the opposite of polite? The opposite is Great, impolite, organized, disorganized, patient, impatient, like, dislike, pleasant, unpleasant, happy, unhappy, helpful, unhelpful, appear, disappear, successful, unsuccessful, great. Our closure today is an easy exercise on one, page 112 in your workbook. So please open your workbook, page 112, exercise B. In this exercise, you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in capitals. Here we have some words in capitals and you have to use the correct word, the correct form of the word, this word. You have five minutes to do the activity and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answer. Welcome back. Now let's check your answer. Muhammad was very space when he broke his toy plane. What is the answer? Happy. The answer is unhappy. We will add the prefix un to happy. Before the, the Wright brothers invented the plane, Many people uh, thought flying was possible. What is the opposite of possible? Great, impossible. Your desk is so space. How do you find anything? Organized. What is the opposite of organized? Disorganized. Great. Number four. I never managed to sleep on, uh, on planes. The seats are so comfortable. The opposite of comfortable is uncomfortable. Great. Number five. I tried to make a model plane, but I was space. It didn't look like a plane at all. What is the opposite of successful? Great. Unsuccessful. Six. 
Flying makes me really nervous. People tell me how safe it is, but I find their advice unhelpful. Great. The last sentence. The way that man told me uh, to move, you to move, the way that man told you to move uh, your bags was very space. He should, uh, he should apologize. What is the opposite of polite? Great, impolite. This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.